I found this note in my phone the other day, and all it says is, creativity is impulsivity gone right. I don't remember where I heard it or who said it, but I remember thinking, eh, that sounds about right, and quickly got Siri to write it down. It makes you wonder though, right? Like, what happens when impulsivity goes wrong? Oh. Well, for me, it's not really a hypothetical because I have a solid track record of starting projects on a whim and then, well, getting distracted. Okay, it's not all bad. You know, sometimes this takes me to places where I had never even imagined. But, uh, there are downsides. Like those unfinished videos. You know, the ones that got sidelined because of some new shiny thing that caught my eye, whether that's another project altogether, or just a completely unrelated hobby. So here's the deal. I dug up some of those unfinished projects because I thought it'd be fun for us to have a look at them together. And maybe if you're interested, you could help me figure out which one of these stories deserve an ending. Sound good? Addiction with my mind. Guilty pleasure has a bit of taste in the end. My Are you Lots. sure you want to find oh. Ooh. Skates. Has got that time. Not me. Ooh. Hey, is interested in patience. Well, I'm a design. Oops, I don't want to film this. I don't know how to stop the kid. I should start out by saying the irony is not lost on me that instead of finishing any one of these projects, I opted to instead start this video. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about these, these old projects that I started and never finished. Welcome to the world of lighting. A world where- The video in question here is a lighting tutorial and it's specifically breaking down one unique type of lighting that I had never heard of and was very counterintuitive to me. But baby Davey said like, you trust me, this is gonna work, it's gonna look cool. We call it a cool top and warm bottom. Cool top and warm bottom. Cool top, warm cool bottom. Cool top, warm bottom. That's important. Heading into this project, our goal was very simple. I was just gonna film it in one day, have Dave run over into the corner, build the lighting setup. I'd film it in BTS. We'd sit down and talk about it and bada boom, bada bing, we're done. Right? Wrong. The problem came when on shoot day, I came up with an idea for an intro to this video that got me really excited. And so quickly I was like, abandon ship, we're heading this way. And we turned the boat from, from out of the water, the, in the, what? Other than the shooting getting pushed back, you know, a couple extra days, the edit was coming together pretty well until uh, I got to the boring part of the edit where I just have to like talk to a camera and then show B-roll and be like, do this, then do that, do this, then do that. And uh, I just didn't really want to do that. If you think boring editing is the only thing that's bogged me down on this project, well, have I got another video for you. Every single day I feel the pleasure. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not that you might think that the problems start and end with the project itself, but no, 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 no. Basically, every time we find ourselves like shooting a new video, we often find excuses or reasons to try and shoot for several other videos at the same time. Now, whether that's reviewing some of the products that we're working on or gathering footage for an eventual review, or in this case, a behind the scenes on what is already kind of a behind the scenes video. Um, mm, mm.
This next section isn't going to focus in on just one video, but rather a handful of videos that are thematically related, let's say. I have a heavy interest in trying to create really high quality motion control, just big budget Hollywood kind of shots, but on a budget and something that I can pull off all by myself. So for the last year or two, I've been trying a handful of different motion control type tools. So this is the Marble Orbit by Josh Yo, also the Viral Light by Viral. <laughs> and I've also been more recently using the Came TV Power Dolly quite a lot. Now for these product reviews, I don't wanna just try it, come up with one example and then say it's good or not. I really like to put them through their paces over a long period of time in a lot of different shoots. And so that's what I've been doing with them. The hard part about these types of videos is knowing when to call it quits, knowing when you have enough footage to just finish the video. So I didn't finish the videos. I love playing with the various motion control type tools. And even though right now I can only afford the kind of janky dollar store knockoff versions, my ultimate goal would be to one day get to work with a full on cinema robot and be able to create these types of shots that like once were only thought possible in animation. However, these things are really expensive and typically require an entire crew to operate properly. But thankfully, that's where the sponsor of today's video comes in, Artlist. Artlist is currently running their largest creator fund ever. They're gonna be giving away $100,000 to one lucky creator to help turn their ideas into reality. You still have a few days left to enter, so all you need to do is post on your socials a little description of what you would want to create with that $100,000 and hashtag it with Artlist 100K Fund. I am super excited to be working with Artlist because I have been a paying subscriber of their services for the last six plus years. Look at all these assets I've downloaded. So whether you're looking for genuinely good music and sound effects or stock footage or graphic elements or editing software, Artlist is the go-to source for every one-stop shop, go-to resource for all of your content creation needs. Their site is super simple to use. They have an all new AI powered search engine, which makes finding the right assets a breeze, which is great because they have literally hundreds of thousands of assets to choose from. To ensure that you aren't just solving problems in your edits, but you're genuinely improving your films. Artlist have subscription options for every type of creator. So whether you're a YouTuber that just needs a few extra songs and some sound effects for your next video, or whether you're a team of 20 creating Super Bowl ads out of assets entirely found on their website, Artlist has you covered. So why don't you go ahead, click that link down in the description, find out some more, definitely look into that 100K creator fund they have going on and uh, as a special bonus, anyone who signs up for any of the annual subscription packages, they're gonna throw in an extra two months completely free onto your plan. So that's 14 months. Click the link. You know you wanna. I know you want to. And you know I want you to. So do it. Oh, when do I get the ice cream? I'm somewhere between like wanting to break down and cry and like so proud of myself. <laughs> It's just getting worse and worse as I feel. It's a slaver. <laughs> This unfinished projects thing dates back several years. This is a video, a documentary, a short film that I was making about my wife being pregnant and giving birth to our second child five years ago. Hey, Dorothy, what did you find? I found a flower. Oh, that smells good. It looks like a flower. It is a flower. I had a vlog that I made with my wife and daughter when she was like less than two of us going up to Tobermory. I have a vlog from my trip to Iceland in the spring of 2017 that I never put out and there are definitely some funny clips in that. Maybe it's the desire to turn these videos into the perfect version of what they could be that stops me from doing it or maybe it's just the lack of a deadline. I'm not sure. There 
are a bunch of electric vehicles that I've been testing and working on reviews for over the last year or two. So that's the One Wheel GT, the InMotion V12, the Air Trick electric roller skates and the Fido something or other cargo utility bike. Each of these videos are at various states of incompleteness. My One Wheel GT video already has the full introduction shot and some various sequences, but I ran into some issues with the board, needed to get it sent in for repairs, and then I just never sent it to them. The InMotion V12, that electric unicycle, was sent to me by a super cool shop from some really cool guys out in BC called EVs. And I've been riding it and it's really fun. It's like a proper motor vehicle replacement, but I just didn't finish it. Now the electric roller skates are really fun, if not kind of terrifying at first, but I've been quite surprised that they're kind of okay. As for that electric cargo bike, they had sent me an email with like an emergency. Hi, we found some issues. Please stop riding your bike until we get replacement parts sent out to you. Next stop, Berlin. And uh, then they ghosted me. So not really sure what's going to happen with that video. Maybe nothing. I love electric vehicles. I think they are so fun, so practical, so very neat. And I would like to review more of them in the future. But I can't do that until I finish these ones. So electric vehicle companies, if you want to review in two years, okay, hit me up. Bye. At this point in the video, you might be thinking to yourself, hey, Jesse, seems like you have ADHD. To that, I'd say, yeah, I do. And in fact, I've been working on a video for nearly three years now, documenting the process of getting diagnosed and talking with my doctor and trialing medications and productivity hacks and workflows and seeing how all these various tools affect things like my concentration and my mood. I was hoping by this point in the process, I would have some type of resolution, some type of insight that I could offer the audience, but I don't. In fact, this past week, I started another, other, 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 other new medication and it's going pretty well. But for a topic that touches mental health and medications with you and your doctor, it just feels like something I should be extra careful about. So yeah, hopefully uh, that's a video you can watch in the not so distant future. There are several other projects that I have started and not finished. And despite what Mr. Steven Pressfield may have to say about it, I feel good about that. I still treat each and every one of these videos as an opportunity to look inward, see what my strengths are, but also what my weaknesses are. It's introspection. And besides, now I get to make this video, and this video is finished.